What I think we need to do as men is to take away. I think that we suffer as men because of too much comfort, too much pleasure, too much good feeling stuff, ice cream and porn. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, my question is, what are small practical steps that we can take to become better men? What would be a good starting habit to implement daily? I don't think there's anything you need to do. What I think we need to do as men is to take away. I think that we suffer as men because of too much comfort, too much pleasure, too much good feeling stuff, ice cream and porn. To be a man, you, you listen, in... Traditional cultures, there was a specific process. Robert Moore calls it the archetype of initiation. The archety archetype means pattern, right? Pattern of initiation, something that is seen throughout cultures, cross-culturally by anthropologists for years and years and years, right? Hundreds of years, thousands of years, right? As long as we've been here, there has been a archetype. There has been a pattern of initiation. And the pattern always looks like this, a movement from away from the world of the mother and an atonement with the world of the father. And there's so many implications that are associated with that, but plain and simple, you could say, move away from pleasure, move away from material comforts, move away from addictions, move away from slovenliness, slothfulness and effeminacy. And, and, and emotionality, moving away from that and moving towards atonement with the Father, which is all about mission and meaning and spirit, higher things. So the way that looks practically is give up junk food, give up video games, put your phone on its leash like we were talking about before, stop watching porn and jerking off. We can't become men there's no atonement with the Father. There's no, more, no movement towards pattern if there's not a break from effeminacy, addiction, attachment. So that's the first step. The first most practical step is to rid yourself, wash yourself of all effeminate attachments, all of them, all those weak practices that we have that keep us trapped. And in our day and age, I would say that the biggest plague is around sexual degeneracy. Stop watching porn, man. I know how difficult that is because you got porn in your freaking pockets. Stop watching porn. Stop masturbating. And you know what? You could even, we could take it just down that route. We could just use that as the example. You, you want to transmutate your sexual power as a man. So there's a way to move away from effeminacy and there's a movement towards atonement, towards rising your vibration. The way you do that, you stop jerking off. That's fine. Stop blowing your seed. That's fine. Good. You're stopping one thing, but now you're cultivating sexual energy by retaining your seed and turning that energy in on itself so that you can create something great in the world. Sexual transmutation is a real thing. And I didn't know about it until I started practicing to the limited degree that I do. Um, semen retention, right? I recognize now that like I used to be completely unconscious about blowing loads with my wife. I was just like, hey, I will have sex four or five times a week if I could. Right. And then, you know, you guys and, and my YouTube fans started waking me up to like, yo, Ellie, you know, you ever heard of semen retention? And so I started becoming conscious of it. And so I started, you know, going longer in between, not blowing my load every time we have sex. And I'm starting to recognize like, well, all of a sudden I got more energy. I got more focus. I got more creativity. There's, I have more ambition. There's more going on in my life. And, and when I do end up blowing that load, it'll kind of take us like a little, like take a little hit, right? Like when you're playing, when, when, like you uh, in Street Fighter, right? You get hit and like your, your energy, the energy bar goes down a little bit. Boom. Every time I blow a load, it's like my energy bar takes a hit, right? So that's just one example. But the whole idea is there's a pattern. There's a movement away from Comfort and a movement towards challenge, austerity, and things of that nature. And so you're, I suppose you're new here in the program. And so you're going to hear me talk a lot about this in the lessons that you study. And you'll start to really start to get a, an, an idea of what's required of us as men, especially in a world that doesn't require anything of us except to sit down, shut up, and worship vagina. And so once you figure that out, you'll be on the right path, dude. 
Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.